LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Alright, so welcome back. We're going to show you how to put your keys onto your keyboard. We're going to do the uh, space bar, a large key, which is the enter, and uh, the regular size key. So we're going to do the H for the regular size key. And we're going to start out by looking at the metal hooks that are on the uh, keyboard itself. You can see that at the top there's one single large metal hook and on the bottom corner there's two smaller ones so different keys change in position as far as the hooks go so the large one can be at the bottom or to the side and that's going to tell us which position to put these in the plastic hinges um, are dependent of the positions of the metal hooks there so we're going to do three steps. The first one is to click these hinges together to make one. Second step is to put that on the keyboard and the third and final step is to put the keycap on top. Then we'll uh, do the large key and spacebar also. So the large space, I mean the uh, large hinge has two small pins on the top and two larger ones at the bottom corners. And I say top and bottom because the large hook is at the top here, so we're going to align the small pins accordingly. If the small, I mean the large bar were to be at the bottom, you needed to flip these small pins and put those at the bottom. But in this case it's up, so we're going to leave those up. Now make sure not to put the whole hinge upside down by feeling the vertical bars. If it's a smooth piece from top to bottom, it faces away from the keyboard. If you feel a bump in the middle or an extra piece that faces and touches the keyboard. So that's the right position for the large piece. Uh, let's leave that one alone for now in the right position. Then you get your next piece, which is this. Now, the small hinge has two pins at the bottom. Uh, those are going to click onto the keycap. The pins in the middle are going to go into the holes that are in the middle of the large piece and the top bar is going to go underneath the large hook. So make sure not to put this piece upside down also by looking or feeling the bottom bar here. Um, if you feel that it's smooth, that faces away from the keyboard. If you feel a gap or a thinning piece in the center that faces and touches the keyboard. So now you know the position for both hinges. You have to put the top bar, well first you have to put the uh, small piece over the large piece like this. Then we're going to put the top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the large piece while keeping everything else above. But at the same time, the pin that's to the left of the small piece is going to go into the hole that's to the left of the large piece. So go ahead and do that. It's like a um, two moves at the same time, really. The pin and the top bar. It may take you a few seconds, but uh, just keep at it. So now we have the pin in and the bottom bar underneath the other bottom bar. Hold those in place so it doesn't come back out. And we have to put the other pin into the other hole, but there's not enough space. So what you have to do is uh, stretch both pieces away from each other like that. 
so the pin can actually make its way into that hole. Now both pieces are one. We're going to put the top bar of the small piece underneath the large hook. Just like that. Then you hold that in place so it doesn't come back out. And we have to put the pins that are at the bottom underneath the hooks that are at the bottom. So now we kind of have to stretch the hinges downward in order for those pins to make it around those uh, metal hooks there. So stretch those hinges. Once everything is down uh, underneath the hooks, you get your keycap, put it right in the center, and push down evenly on all four sides. Uh, that's it for the regular size key. Now we're going to do the um, enter key, which has, I mean, it's just really a large area. This is the right position for the hinge, and it's the same deal as uh, the same procedure as the regular size, only this is on a bigger scale. So you can identify the large hook here and the two smaller ones there. So this pointy section is going to go underneath the large hook and we're going to stretch it over to the opposite side in order to get the pins underneath the hook. Now this wire goes in this fitting and that fitting so you want to place it underneath those uh, hooks there and push it all the way to the top, slide it upward now the keycap itself has a wire and this is the right position for it uh... it has three fittings one two and three and you want to open your wire like this turn your keycap around and you can still still see the uh, wires right there and right there so that is going to go underneath the fittings that are above and under the hinge which is this is under and that's above so we're going to slide it in this way putting the wire underneath those metal hooks now keeping that in place we're going to move the keycap over to the other side and click it down on onto the uh, the hinge and the uh, top wire there so that's it for the enter key for the large, I mean the space bar, there's two wires. The large one goes at the bottom and the small one goes to the top. So the fittings are at the very, very bottom, at the very, very top. Now you determine the position for the keycap because the top is square cut and the bottom is, it has an angle to it. So flip it over this way, then you put the hinges uh, in that uh, place they're supposed to go into as far as the fittings go then you flip it over again leaving the wire open and you put it in the right position above your keyboard but you want to flip it over this way so you can actually see the wire and the fittings for the wire are to the very left and to the very right and they're like hooks also I mean uh, they're not hooks this one's actually a hook and this one's like a loop so you want to put the right side in first and then we're going to put this around and under that other metal piece there. Now just lay down your uh, keycap onto the hinges and push down evenly on all sides of the of the keycap in order for it to click onto the hinges. And that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.